Hello crafters, it's Max and today I'm going to be making a card, so I'm just going to get started. So I here have some washi tape and a normal card base and this is Salty Ocean Mini Distress Ink Pad by Tim Holtz. It's like set number three or something of the Mini Distress Inks and here I'm using my homemade ink daubers, like ink blenders. I made it myself using a makeup sponge with cardboard and I'm trying to blend everything out right now. So that's Salty Ocean. And I'm taking off my tape and it's very straight. I'm very happy about that. So now, here I have some shimmer mist that I made myself using pearly watercolors, Color Hobby Art pearly watercolors. And I'm just putting that all over the surface. So that's happening. And here I have my homemade Misty. It's basically an old game CD case that I have like six layers of foam cut to size and some newspaper on top. I could use the foam for mounting if I needed. And I have some Aladdin stamps. Stampo Clear. Clear for it is the stamp set name. And I have a struggle here because they wouldn't all fit. So I had to kind of realign them several times. And in the end I just did separately but it just didn't really fit and the owl was just standing off very annoying. So I'm kind of out of frame here. But did they all fit? No they didn't. Um you see. So anyway, kind of just show you my mistakes because we all make them and there's no point hiding them, I guess. So I'm using the Bento Tuxedo Black ink by Sukuniko and you really can't see it, I'm very sorry. But this is the whole point of the stamp position I like this. If you kind if you don't get it right the first time, which it's such an opaque stamp and my ink pad isn't really good, I have to buy a reinker. You can do it again and again until you get it and it stamps all the time. I'm, my stamp positioning skills are very bad, so that's why I love it. So I'm doing the owl now, the bigger owl in the set. And I think I had to do him twice as well. Yeah, I did him twice. And the fox, I don't think he fitted. He didn't fit, so I ended up just stamping him apart from it. And I don't know where I went right now. I really don't, I'm sorry. So, here I have my um, card base with the distress ink and everything. So, here I have the die set that I'm using. It's Sizzix hexagon, like, framelit set. So I cut out this, like, chicken wire background and I put some foam tape at the back. You do not want to see me doing foam tape because I take forever and I have nothing to say. I don't really have much to say. Anyway, so here I'm using different pro markers and tiger twin markers. So here I have oatmeal and sandstone which is from pro marker and I'm layering oatmeal on first all over the owl and now I'm just getting it and I'm blending it with sandstone. It's not too, you can't really see it but I don't know, I think it's in my head. So I'm just doing that again I think all over the head of the owl this time. I don't know what colour owls are and I don't have many colours so that just had to do I guess. And this is, this time it's blush and apricot, which blush is a slightly lighter colour than the oatmeal. I don't know why I bought them, like, they're so close to each other. I could have spent my money on another marker, but I don't know, it just happened anyway. So, blush and apricot, and I'm using this for the fox. And I guess you can see it a bit more. I think I should have done an orange for the fox instead of the blush, because it's not so... I know foxes are more... Orange ready, I guess. So 
this is number 41 and I'm just using this for the fawn his spots in the back and I didn't do any blending because I didn't think it necessary and I'm also using that for the owl's feet so here I have um, 17, 14 and I think it's 11 I can't find the mark oh yeah I have it here and 11 and I'm just using that for my things so anyway I'm sorry thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe I added sequins I don't have much time um yeah okay bye